Hey family, welcome to the Future of Bottom in the Podcast. I am your host, Cut Nights 50, and the 2022 Mr. Olympia is just around the corner. This year will be epic, historic, and unpredictable. But can anyone stop the reigning champion, Big Ramy, from claiming his third title? Or will it be someone like a new wild card to lead the pack? Let's start with William, the Conqueror Bonnet, who shocked the world earlier this year at the Arnold Classic. Will a more improved package bring him his first Olympia title? Or will it be someone in only his second Olympia, like Nick the Mutant Walker? Will his improvements be enough? Can he control his stomach and become Mr. Olympia and achieve his goals? Or will the legacy of Hunter LeBrother stop him from leading the head of the pack? Will Hunter bring a more impressive physique than last year? Can he show up shredded? Or will it be another controversial like this guy, Ian, who will be more improved and balanced on stage? Can he lead the pack and jump in that top five or even crack the top three? This year will be unpredictable, but this unexpected guy looks to capitalize on the special invitation. Derek Lunsford is one to watch. But where will he land at this year's Olympia? It's unpredictable, but many have forgot about another mass monster. A king, the Beast Williams, looks to shock the world and rise to the occasion by improving on his package and placing inside that top three again. He's been quiet, but he's been working. Or will it be someone with energy, like blessing big boogeyman energy? Where will he land at this year's O? Can he prove on his earlier package this year and stay undefeated? Can he crack the top three? Or will it be someone like Justin Rodriguez who looks for redemption and to bring a more balanced physique? Or will it be a newcomer who made a lot of progress in only a short time? Can this guy, Samson, stay with the mass with class and improve and even crack that top three? top five or outside the top 10 who knows this year but the veterans of the sport also have something to say charles griffin has made a lot of improvements and looks to jump ahead of the pack who knows where this guy will place but the mass is undeniable the newcomers also want to challenge veterans but the new predator also tony burton looks to shock the world and place inside the top 15, or can he even squeeze into that top 10? This year had a lot of hype, but James Hollenhead, who overcame a lot of mental health issues and controversial placings, also has something to say. Where will he land? Can he accomplish his goals of landing inside that top 10? Or will he place even higher than expectations the year before? We all know that his placings will be more improved and even better. But this guy, Michael Crizzo, who has a lot to say, where will he place? Top 10 or outside that top 15? Who knows? If he doesn't come in shredded, it will be outside the top 10. Or what about this guy, Raphael, who has a pretty physique, but does he have enough mass to match with these mass monsters of this year? Can he crack the top 10, top six, or will he place outside the top 15? It's tough to tell, but this year will be unpredictable. Can newcomer on the scene and rookie sensation Andrew Jack jump ahead of the pack, surpass his own expectations, and shock the world in history? It never happened before, but the legacy is also a different monster. Can his big frame and mass shock everyone or will it be up to the veterans of the sport to rise back to the occasion? Can this guy, Brandon Curry, can he shock the world and make history by reclaiming the title and winning Mr. Olympia and the Arnold Classic in his back-to-back years? It's never been done before. But if anyone can do it, 
This guy, Cam, he remained in the shadows this year. But what will he look like if he has a complete physique and shows up in unpredictable condition? This year will be epic, unpredictable, and one to watch. Stay tuned. The Future of Body Bending Podcast is about to take off. Let's go.